Golden Blue Tube here with you where my motto is, if it pops in my head, I'm going to make a video about it. So today what popped in my head is 2007 and the loss to Pitt. And what would have happened if West Virginia would have beat Pitt? Well, first of all, let's go over what happened after we lost to Pitt. Anyways, West Virginia, this is 2007, West Virginia loses to Pitt. Rich Rod leaves. West Virginia does win the Fiesta Bowl. That was a good win. Bill Stewart is awarded head coaching job. ACC turns West Virginia down in 2011. West Virginia wins the 2012 Orange Bowl against Clemson. Dana Holgerson is awarded head coach after that game. Actually, it was before that game. West Virginia is invited to the Big 12 in 2012. And then from 2012 up till now, a lot of mediocrity. Yes, we did have a 10-win season, but that was when the Big 12 had a very bad year. And then to present, Neil Brown becomes head coach in 2019. Well, let's rewind and see what could have happened if West Virginia would have beaten Pitt. All right, so let's go back to 2007. West Virginia beats Pitt. Rich Rod stays because we know if West Virginia would have beaten Pitt, that means West, uh, Rich Rod would have actually been putting effort into that game, which means he would be staying. Anyways. So, West Virginia wins the 2007 National Championship. A lot of people agree on that, not just West Virginia fans. West Virginia was the best team in college football in 2007, but that loss to Pitt squashed everything. Anyways, so then West Virginia extends Rich Rod's contract. What happens after that? Well, because West Virginia won the National Championship, they have more accolades. The ACC actually invites West Virginia in 2011 instead of turning them down and we forget the 2012 Orange Bowl doesn't even happen why because West Virginia would be in the ACC which Clemson is in already and also West Virginia and Pitt would continue the backyard ball a lot of people don't realize that that actually affected the rivalry between West Virginia and Pitt because now we don't play every year because we're in different conferences well if West Virginia goes to the ACC that rivalry can happen every year again and then West Virginia versus Clemson becomes a great ACC championship rivalry because I think West Virginia would have done great, much better than the Big 12 because the travel is closer, we have better rivalries, and let's face it, the competition is just a little bit easier in the ACC besides Clemson. Does Clemson become a powerhouse? Does Dabo Sweeney become head coach? A lot of unanswered questions, but that's my take on what if. West Virginia would have beaten Pitt in 2007. And people that aren't West Virginia fans, you wonder why West Virginia hates Pitt so much. Now you know. And a lot of other reasons. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next show.